Hi everyone, Tyler Mannion here, NPC and IFPB Pro League Vice President, and we're going to get into the Wellness Arnold Classic recap. So in first place, we had Francielli. This was by far the best Francielli that we've seen, which is saying something since she hasn't lost as a pro in her career in the IFPB Pro League. Her glute to leg balance was great. I thought it improved from the Olympia. The legs came up just a little bit more to match the glutes, which I thought she had grown from 22 to 23. So now they are more in balance overall, which in every single pose, front, both sides and the back makes all of them stronger. Her glutes are always great. Her structure is great. Her upper body is not too big at all. She had fullness everywhere, was not too hard. You can see any striations anywhere on her whole entire body. The slight separation that she did have in her legs and obviously in the back pose is right on what we want to see in wellness. And really, this was just the picture perfect wellness physique on this day. And she made sure she put a stamp on this show after coming very close to getting beat last year at the Olympia. In second place, we had Issa. And Issa was just off from the normal conditioning that we are used to seeing her in. So we could still see a little bit of separation. We could still see the lines you know, in her physique. However, she was definitely just a little bit too heavy uh, in the lower body. And even when it comes to the conditioning with her waist and her waistline, it was just not what we are accustomed to seeing. Her physique was great. However, the main feedback from this show is just to get in the proper condition. Now, the feedback from the Olympia was to keep improving her glutes as well. But when you're not in the exact shape that you need to be in, it's hard to see if you actually made those improvements physique-wise or not. So we'll end up seeing that, I'm sure, at the next show that she participates in. In third place was Sandra. I thought this was a great showing for her. She's coming off an eighth place finish at the Olympia. So to finish top three here is quite an accomplishment. For her, she needs a little bit more depth to her glutes, especially when she is walking as well. They kind of flatten out just a little bit. And when it comes to her legs, overall legs a little bit, they are balanced, but she could use just a little bit more there as well while she's improving the glutes. So the legs and glutes stay into balance. Her conditioning was right on and it was very good for wellness. In fourth place, we had Bruna. Uh, great showing for Bruna after taking some time off. I think the main thing for her is she needs to grow her legs, uh, you know, a little bit more. She also can bring her glutes in a little bit fuller as well. Again, while she's walking, she could use that roundness, a little bit more depth to her glutes while she's walking so they, so they stay fuller. Uh, so for her, it's just more improving the lower body and growing just a little bit more. But again, her conditioning was spot on for wellness. I thought, you know, first, third, and fourth, the conditioning was great for wellness. Issa was obviously just a little bit off, but... The physiques were good representations of what we want to see. And overall, I thought it was a very strong top four. And we're going to go over the Arnold Classic fitness recap. In first place, we had Ariel. Ariel delivered a great routine this weekend, which is what won her the show. Because in fitness, the routine is two-thirds of the score. So in Ariel's routine, she has some of the best strength moves in all of the IFPB Pro League. These strength moves are the things that really carry her routine and make them impressive. Of course, she still shows great athleticism, great creativity with her routines, and she makes sure to hit all the, all the mandatory moves that the fitness competitors need to hit. So overall, it was a great routine that let her win the routine round. Now, when it comes to her physique, she was still a little bit nervous and shaking on stage. Um, her conditioning could have been slightly better, just a little bit more condition physique wise. But overall, I thought her waistline actually had come in more. It was a more streamlined look for her. And when it comes to her physique, I don't think she really needs to change much other than getting just a little bit more conditioned. But you combine the lack of conditioning with the shaking, and that is what moves her down during the physique round of the judging. So she was able to clearly make that up with the routine. And that's how she ended up to be the winner. In second place, we had Jacqueline. Now for Jacqueline with the physique round, when it comes to the physique, her conditioning was off. 
She needs a little bit more to her legs. Um, she needs to improve her back as well. However, for posing wise, she was actually hurting herself and not even showing off the width that she does have in her back from the front and from the back poses. So posing, conditioning, and still making a little bit of improvements in the legs and the back. Make sure she hits all the mandatory moves. She has very solid strength moves and still make sure to show off athleticism in her posing routine. And again, with Ariel and Jacqueline, the routines are clean. You don't see mistakes. You don't see them uh, falling during their routines. So that's also taken into account while we're judging these fitness routines. In third place was Jody. Jody ended up winning the physique round. She looked great. She was pretty balanced from top to bottom. The upper body could slightly come down in size a little bit, and that would give her really good balance between the upper and the lower body. Uh, she had a good depth and detail to her back. She had a great V taper. So overall, the physique, she looked great. She wasn't too hard as well. Now, when it comes to the routine, she really needs to work on her strength moves. Uh, the routine could be a little bit cleaner. And something that I think helps is when you can put everything together so it flows. You don't want to have little dead spots or breaks in the routine. And I think these are the couple of things that she can work on. Next up is Michelle. She did very, very well in the physique round. Her arms and shoulders are still a little bit too big. It makes her seem upper body dominant, comparing her upper to her lower body. And her conditioning was just slightly soft on the soft side here so she can make those little bit of improvements with her physique when it comes to her routine she is very high flying she is very athletic now she needs to put that together with making sure she's hitting all the mandatory moves and also really improving her strength moves that she puts into the routine if she can do this she can really make a big impression in this routine round I think she got better with her conditioning in the routine round. She didn't seem as tired as she normally is by the end of her routines. But the strength moves and making sure you have all the mandatory moves need to be added in there. And we could see a big time challenger in this fitness division if she does that. That's the recap for fitness. And we're going to do the recap for the wheelchair division at the Arnold. We had a brand new champion, Rajesh from India. First time I've ever seen him as he just turned pro at a pro qualifier last year, and he brought an awesome package to the stage. Very full and conditioned muscle with a very small waistline. The separation everywhere was very, very strong. His front double bicep, his front lat spread, his back double bicep, his back lat spread, everything was extremely strong. And the amount of muscle that he brought with the fullness and conditioning was an overall great combination. Gabriel also looked really, really good. I think he looked much better than he did at the Olympia. It was one of his better or best looks that we've seen. However, when we were comparing Rajesh to Gabriel, I think Rajesh definitely won both back poses. From the front, the front double bicep and the front lat spread, his waistline was just a little bit smaller and his separation was just a little bit better. Rajesh also has very good side poses, especially the side tricep, where he has big and detailed triceps. Again, the small waist really comes into play in all these poses because we can see the waistline. So it was just a really strong showing by Rajesh, and that's why he beat out Gabriel, who also looked very, very good. In third place, we had Josu. Josu has very thick and dense muscle. He looks great from the front. But he really needs to focus on bringing more conditioning in and really improving his back. Once he turned around, you can see that his back double bicep and back lat spread are really lacking compared to Rajesh and Gabriel. And finally, in fourth place, we had Harold. Now, this definitely was not the best Harold that we've ever seen. I think he was a little bit downsized uh, in terms of size and muscularity. Also, he was not in the condition that he normally brings. So with the downsizing and the conditioning being lower, that is what ended up giving him fourth place at this show. And hopefully he can rebound back and challenge back for his Olympia crown later this year. That's the recap for wheelchair.